Okay. All right. Uh, let's go uh, get into this next story. Nicki Minaj all over the internet. I'm, I'm out here in Aruba, still hearing about it. I'm way out here. People are talking about this. She signed herself, she's found herself in uh, some hot fire. People have been coming for the rapper like MSNBC's Joy Reid and actress Yvette Nicole Brown because they both had something to say about her comments on the vaccine. It started with Nikki explaining her missed attendance from the VMAs and the Met Gala. She said that it was because you had to be vaccinated to attend both and that she didn't want to risk her child's health by being around other people. She explained that she would get the vaccine after she personally did more research, which she said she was doing, but... She encouraged her fans to continue to wear their masks. But Joy Reid was not here for Nikki's comments. She expressed her displeasure with Nikki's comments on her television show and said, for you to use your platform to encourage our community to not protect themselves and save their lives as a fan, I'm so sad that you did that. Now, Nikki Minaj fired back and called Reid a homophobic coon. And that's when all hell broke loose. Was Joy out of line for calling Nikki out on live TV? And I also think the question needs to be asked, was Nicki Minaj out of line for calling Joy Reid a coon? Which I've never seen mm. coon behavior from Joy Reid. Nikki was definitely reaching and out of line with the homophobic coon. I don't know where she was going with that. And I feel like what she was doing was trying to play on trigger words. Oh, if I throw homophobic in there, people will be mad. Where I stand with Joy as it relates to her response to Nikki, you know, I'm kind of neutral about it, right? Because Nikki did not say, don't go get the vaccine. She didn't say, oh, the vaccine is lethal I, or, 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 or illegal. I'm not getting it. She said, I don't know where I'm at at it. Now, I am a vaxxer. I am pro-vax. But in being pro-vax and in being in the communications field, I'm also pro-people being able to speak their mind and speak however they feel. Yeah. this vaccine issue has been so divisive, but I don't find anything wrong with what Nikki said. Nikki said that she didn't want to do it for her. She does have a 22 million people and a lot of people will follow her and I get Joy Reid's point. But to be honest, I'm rarely double mine. I don't know where I am on this. I don't think Nikki committed a foul and I kind of think Joy kind of overshot her, 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 her anger. Okay, Al? It, this was this is very interesting to me. This is like really, really interesting to me on two levels. On the first level, um, mm -hmm. I haven't seen Nikki this mm -hmm. um, involved or on Twitter in a long, long time. I mean, I, I just haven't seen her this involved on Twitter in a long, long time. And that has me questioning why she's so involved on Twitter. Now, what she said was for sure dangerous and insensitive, you know, not talking facts about the vaccine was dangerous and calling, um, you know, another black female on a large platform, a coon is insensitive as far as I'm concerned. I don't think that Joy necessarily was in the wrong because as we've all said on this show before, when you have a huge platform like that and you can influence millions and millions of people, there's a social responsibility that comes with this. But let me pose this. I'm thinking, and this just could be my conspiracy theory. I'm thinking because we have not seen seen Nikki on Twitter in a long time, that the reason why she's on Twitter now is because of the news around her husband being found guilty about uh, the sex crime and, and being a sex offender not registering. And she's using this opportunity to divert the attention off of him and onto her. That's just me. You know what I love oh, no. about you, Al? Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off, Claudia. No, go ahead. I get so emotionally involved in the stories and I just spit from the gut, but you just bring this whole other intellectual perspective. And now that I thought about it, you're absolutely right. Her sure. husband is like America's most wanted sex offender, failed to register, social media eating him up. And what better way to divert all that energy, energy and attention than that you you is smart. You is yeah, she's she's you is uncircumcised, her beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well, in addition, Nikki also told fans that she's been in Twitter jail since she is expressing her concerns over the vaccine and that she plans to no longer use the platform. We'll see about that. Now, also, actress Yvette Nicole Brown defended Joy Reid in a post where she wrote, Sis, she wasn't coming for you. She's a real one who fights for us daily and was only trying to remind you that whenever you speak... 22 million people, listen, a huge platform like yours carries 
great responsibility. The mm -hmm. barbs attempted to come for the actress, which led to her, her addressing them in an Instagram post, and she made sure to tag Nikki. And she tweeted, pinning this tweet to help the trolls. I don't care if you call me zealous, old, fat, or ugly, or on any given day, I may be all those things. I do care what we have. I do care that we have a country with opportunities for all, safe infrastructure, and a leader who doesn't cage babies or grab vaginas. What are your thoughts on the trolls now coming for Yvette Nicole Brown? I have a question for the trolls, and I have a question for the anti-vaxxers, right? So I have a friend, Dr. Shantira Johnson. I've known her since high school, went to college. And she said, it's medicine's fault that Black people are as skeptical as they are about medicine. And I get that. She blames it 100% on medicine, and it is. We've got this history. Tuskegee, this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. My only question is, for everybody that throws Tuskegee experiment, that was specifically designed and engineered for Black men. They're giving the vaccine to everybody. So that kills the racial issue. Then there's this conspiracy theory. But in order for it to be a conspiracy, it would have to be a global conspiracy. Korea and America don't even get along. Half of the places in, Amer in the globe don't even like America. That's right. number two. Number three, do you know how many people it would require to be silent in order for this to be a global conspiracy? And number four, I want you to finish the thought. Okay, this is a conspiracy theory. This is some type of sick medicine they're putting in us. Finish the thought. Sick medicine to do what? what? Here is what I know. In 30 years from now, if I develop cancer because I got the COVID vaccine, I know that that's better than me dying in 30 days. So you know what? I'll take the 30 years of cancer versus the 30 years of death. What? Finish the thought for me. Like, finish the thought. It's a conspiracy. Conspiracy to do what globally? And I'll yield my time to Al Reynolds. No, no, we got to go to commercial. Uh, we can yield that uh, uh, your time and come back with more thoughts if we want to. We got to take a quick break. We'll be back with more TGIF after the break. <laughs> 